Hi guys, Carrie from KDS Insurance Services on this Tuesday in Texas. Wanted to talk to you a little bit real quickly today about spring because it's not very far away. It's really not. <laughs> Maybe three weeks away. And as we get into spring, the storms start to happen. And when the storms start to happen, we have claims. We have homeowners claims. We have auto claims for hail and wind damage and I just wanted to make sure you're prepared today. How do you become prepared? Well it's really simple. You make sure that you your house and everything around your house has a really good distance barrier, 10 feet. So the house should be completely clear of any debris 10 feet around your house. No cans of old gasoline cans, no tires, no, no trash cans, debris-wise. I mean, plastic tra trash cans are fine, but I'm talking about um, other kinds of debris that can catch on fire really quickly. And then one of the most important things you can do for your home to prepare for the spring storms is your tree trimming. I know th I, this is, I sound like a, a broken record when I talk about this, but it really is so very important. You need to have 10 feet around in every direction. So on either side of your house, from your roof line down to, from your tree, tree chop line down to your roof line, at least 10 feet. You don't want anything directly overhanging your house because that's when tragedy happens. And I do mean tragedy. We've seen cases where these really big trees, and because the grounds in Texas are so saturated, you know, two year, 200 year old trees are now falling over because there's no support mechanism to hold the heavy weight of the tree in the ground any longer. I've seen it in my own neighborhood. We've had five trees in the last year. So it's really important to make sure that you don't have the majority of your weight of your tree hanging towards your house. You want to try to make sure that you're balancing the weight of your tree. Well, you know, you're probably saying, well, Carrie, how am I supposed to know that? Well, unfortunately, you need to pay a tree service to come out, look at your trees, and make sure they do a balance assessment. Because if you've got too much growth going on one side of your tree, it's going to tip there. And if it's going to tip towards your house, it can take out your house and you in it. Seriously, no joke. That has happened before. Or how, where trees have fallen through people's houses at night and it's killed them. So it's no joke. You need to be doing your due diligence, especially now before the spring happens and they start to raise their prices because they will to get your trees trimmed. It's so important. You also want to make sure that they're done because you don't want the insurance company to come back to you and say, you didn't do your due diligence. You didn't take care of your trees, so this is your fault. We're not going to pay your claim because you weren't maintaining your trees. Find a good tree service, get your trees trimmed, and make sure that you're leaving 10 feet all the way around your house from your trees and your debris, and then make sure that you are checking your trees, that the growth on the tree is not going to lean it to one side or the other, especially if the weight of the tree is leaning the, the tree towards your home because you don't want that tree to fall in and crush your home and you in it. Hope this helps. This is Carrie from KDS Insurance Services. Have a great Tuesday.